Hello YouTube, thanks for taking a minute out of your day to stop by, check out my channel. Subscribers, uh, new visitors, um, I appreciate all your comments. Feel free to uh, make some on any of the videos. Um, so what we got here is that 660. I've had it for quite a while. Um, it's a guy I know saw and it had ingested the water into it. This is the aftermarket engine. I don't know what brand, but I found a bunch of problems with it because it never had an oil pump put on it. So here we are with all the parts. Um, that is a brand new high output oiler. I get everything here, the worm gear, um, the uh, needle bearing for the new clutch drum, carb kit, uh, clutch springs, got the miscellaneous nuts and bolts or screws, whatever you want to call them. Uh, fasteners um, It's got a new oil line and filter in there and uh, There's your impulse fuel line filter new intake boot all that stuff so I can vacuum and pressure test it and make sure everything's good. So I've had these parts uh, Since the end of June That's when I ordered them. So uh, it's pretty funny that watching an iron horse video he actually uh, did a video on sawzilla parts and he likes them, so I thought it was a pretty good option, and uh, I had these parts before he did the video, so that's pretty cool. So if they work for him, I'm sure they're going to be fine on this saw. So anyways, uh, the reason that I haven't done too much on it, and I was debating what I was going to do, I'm obviously going to vacuum and pressure test this whole thing just to make sure it's good before I give it back to the guy. And I noticed some marks on the... The piston is some slight little slight little scoring like something got ingested in there um, Not super bad, but anyhow It was missing, you know the little trim piece. I don't know what they call that that goes against You know your intake right there. So the reason that I think that was missing For one they either forgot it or It is so bloated the original one is so bloated that I can't even get this ring in there. It's just bending the ring when I'm trying to get it in. So I'm going to replace all that stuff. And uh, anyhow, so I think I'm going to pull the cylinder off of here and make sure all the, you know, transfer ports and all that stuff, they're, they're chamfered really well. And just see if there's anything in there. Did it, did it suck something by because it wasn't, you know, bolting up real tight or, you know, it probably sucked something in there even though it hasn't run that much, but that's where I've been at and trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And uh, I just got some other stuff going on and just giving you guys an update. I do have the parts, the videos coming, and uh, I just appreciate all you guys uh, watching what I'm doing. So you guys, uh, as always, thanks for watching and have a good night.